hello good morning to all of you so now uh, we are going to discuss uh, the about the electron correlation methods so uh, in our uh, class if you follow sequentially then we uh, you know that we have actually discussed about the Hartree-Fock method we have discussed uh, about the basis set approximation and techniques now what was actually uh, missing in the Hartree-Fock method that uh, it actually uh, does not contains any electron correlation phenomena okay so uh, only uh, an average cloud like if you consider one electron that electron uh, are going to face an average cloud created by all other electrons so that was the assumption of Hartree-Fock method but to uh, make further we have to go beyond the uh, Hartree-Fock method and that we actually defined as the post Hartree-Fock method okay so Hartree-Fock theory uh, with basis set approximation was the first successful ab initio approach you know what is ab initio ab initio means that we uh, did not consider any uh, experimental parameters or any uh, other type of parameterization approach only we are using uh, the uh, fundamental principle that is Schrodinger equations we are taking the Schrodinger equations and we are now uh, also provide, uh, using some approximations and finally we uh, reach to the Hartree-Fock theory okay so that was the first uh, successful for that we say but it uh, this theory has uh, uh, significant challenges or problems that actually coming from uh, electron correlations and also the basis set okay so uh, how we can uh, progress how we can make progress from here okay so there are two uh, philosophies actually begin to emerge at this stage to make further progress so one is that uh, the parameterization method so you have seen that still Hartree-Fock equation has so many challenges means that it uh, does not contain electron correlation still it uh, is the so, uh, solutions of this is not so easy so one thing uh, we can do that we can uh, make it more simplified by uh, uh, using some type of sort of parameterization means that we'll uh, uh, will uh, replace the all that integral so uh, is actually coming in our uh, equations during the solution of the Schrodinger equations or Hartree-Fock equations will actually replace them by some ex experimental value and finally we'll actually verify that uh, final energy with the experiments okay so in this way parameterization takes place you know so that uh, actually uh, reduce the computational cost because uh, you don't need to uh, do the integral uh, in the computer but uh, instead of the doing integral it takes the value of some certain value of that integral okay so uh, also it can be uh, improved some accuracy because uh, as it is directly taking some experimental values okay so this uh, actually underlies the motivation for so-called semi-empirical molecular orbital theories okay but uh, if you want to uh, continue ab initio approach means that you are not going to take any experimental uh, parameters then there comes that electron correlation method okay so uh, hf theory actually uh, provides very well defined energy if you can uh, which can be conversed in the uh, limit of infinite basis set means that if you increase the basis set then it will give give you a good energy definitely and uh, definitely it ignores uh, still relativity and spin orbit coupling so from this standpoint if we uh, make some extra subroutine or some extra uh, uh, calculations for the electron correlations then we can get the far better energy okay so uh, in this methods like electron correlation methods or basically we said the post Hartree-Fock methods for that we are not actually uh, incorporating any experimental fellows okay 
so before going to uh, discuss about the specific uh, methods of this uh, type of electron correlations we will uh, have to understand very carefully what is the actual electron correlation so electron correlation is the phenomenon of the motion of pairs of electrons in atoms or molecules being connected okay so you uh, know that there are so many electrons in uh, it can be possible in an atom and their motions will be correlated because they will be repulsive to each other okay so for that uh, there as their motions are correlated we say that these are the correlations between the electrons so basically that is electron correlation okay so the purpose of the post hartree calculations uh, that we also defined as correlated calculations is to treat such correlated motions better than the hartree method because in hartree method we have not consider this okay so in the hartree fock electro uh, treatment electron electron repulsion actually is considered by having each electron move in a smeared out average electrostatic field uh, due to all other electrons okay so these i uh, i am saying so many times you should understand very carefully what was the actual hartree fock uh, approximations that it actually uh, face and smeared out average electrostatic field created by all other electrons but in reality in each electron at any moment moves under the influence of the repulsion not on average electron cloud but they are rather than but rather of individual electrons okay so in this point we uh, just want to mention that each electron will be um, electrons movement will be influenced by the specific uh, electro uh, positions of the other electrons not any average cloud okay so let's uh, uh, see an uh, image to explain it more so there are two uh, this is nucleus and these two are electrons so in this figure also these two are electrons okay so you can see in the first figure that these electrons are quite uh, near to each other but far from each other but if you consider the hartree fock theory hartree fock does not consider these two systems are different because it uh, actually considers an average cloud created by other electrons but not the explicit positions of the other electrons it is considered but you uh, using this uh, two image you can uh, identify that this is actually uh, will give you the error in energy because these two systems are different okay so now we can explain that hartree for calculations uh, Hartree uh, fock calculations give an energy that is actually too high because of the over estimation of the electron repulsion and partly because of the fact that it, uh, in any real calculations we do not use the basis set uh, in up to infinite level. We have to uh, to perform the calculations. We have to uh, take some uh, basis sets which is not infinite at all. Okay. So why uh, Hartree fock theory uh, Hartree fock energy will be higher because uh, if you consider these two systems then uh, in this case you assume that your electron this electron will not face so much repulsion by the electron too so energy will not be so high but if you uh, treat it in the Hartree fock treatment then it will also uh, get the uh, average uh, electron cloud repulsion so for that it will always face extra repulsions created by average field and that makes the electron uh, energy higher okay so hartree fock theory can be initially uh, improved like about the basis set what we have said so you can improve the hartree fock uh, uh, theory by uh, without taking any other approximation just increase the basis set number of that means number of basis functions you will get more relaxed uh, uh, molecular orbital and you will get finally and refined energy and that is called the hartree fock limit energy of the at the hartree fock limit so if we define the hartree fock limit then the solutions of the hartree fock equations with an infinite basis set is actually defined as the hartree fock limit okay now as a pictorial representation you uh, we can express the hartree fock limit uh, so it's the plot of energy versus the number of basis functions and you know that uh, if we get more and more negative energy means it uh, the energy becoming slower okay 
so if energy uh, becoming uh, lower means that your energy is becoming uh, going to reach uh, more uh, near to the ideal values so uh, in this uh, plot uh, we have in the x axis we have plotted energy and the y axis uh, sorry in the y axis we have plotted energy in the x axis we have plotted number of basis functions so when you can see the increase you are increasing the basis functions that energy is becoming improved because it is becoming more negative means uh, energy become lower and finally when the number of basis functions is sufficiently high we are getting a limit and becomes now parallel line means that if you increase more and more basis functions your energy will not going to change too much okay so this energy we can say the hardy fog limit according to these calculations okay so now uh, what is actually uh, we have understand about, uh, about the electron correlations but electron all uh, due to this electron correlations always we will get some energy and that we can define as the electron correlation energy okay but how we can actually perfectly uh, determine this quantity that how much electron uh, correlation energy are available in the system so it uh, if you can just simply assume in the one way that uh, hardy fock uh, limit in hardy fock limit means that hardy fock theory uh, correcting the basis set approximations because we are uh, taking the infinite basis set limit so this is the perfect energy just without considering the electron correlation okay and if you take if you assume that you have exact uh, uh, wave functions then you will get the perfect energy of the systems means the true energy of the systems so true energy of the systems will also uh, consider the all the things like uh, what are the hardy fog limits coming and also electron correlations energy are uh, included there because that is the you are getting the real systems so you can define the e correlation is just the e uh, exact minus e hardy fog limit okay so that was actually the definitions actually for first uh, uh, provided by laudin and he said that the correlation energy of a certain state with respect to a specified hamiltonian is the difference between the exact eigen value means this one of uh, exact eigen value of the hamiltonian means this one we are getting and its expectation value at the hartree fog limit so this one okay so you can see that uh, hartree fog limit uh, energy at the hartree fog uh, limit or in hartree fog method you can always higher than the true energy because this is a variational method okay so if we uh, make a uh, so this uh, will be more negative than the this so basically you will get the e correlation energy is negative okay so here we have uh, in this lecture we have discussed about the electron correlation what is the electron correlation because electrons uh, movement are actually influenced by the explicit positions of the other electron not the any average cloud so that we can so electrons motions will be correlated and also uh, due to this correlated motions electro uh, the systems will have some energy and that is called correlation energy now we'll uh, see uh, differ some uh, we'll discuss little more about the correlations and then we'll go to the uh, go to discussion uh, go to the discussion of the methods okay so thank you very much